Hi everyone and welcome back to another beginner friendly Procreate tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to do these 3D inward and outward effects. This tutorial will be completely beginner friendly so even if you've never used the app before you should still be able to follow along. All you need to do to get started is to pick four colors in addition to black and white. I've listed the RGB codes for the colors I've used in the description below if you want to use the same ones but you can pick any four you want to get started. So grab your pencil, grab your iPad, and we'll get started. We're going to start off with a square canvas. So Procreate do have a default option for the square canvas. So to get this, all you need to do is tap on the plus in the top right hand corner, and you'll see a square option. Tap on that and it'll automatically open your canvas. The next thing we need to do is create our grid. So tap on the little wrench in the top left corner, which is your actions panel. From there, go into canvas and toggle on the drawing guide. Click on edit drawing guide and it should default to 2D grid, but if it doesn't select it and then increase the grid size so it looks exactly like this, a two by two grid. When you have it all set up, click on done to exit the canvas settings. The next thing you're going to do is tap on your color wheel to select the first of the four colors, which in my case is the yellow. So we're going to fill in the entire canvas with the yellow color to start off. So to do this, drag and drop from the color wheel all the way onto the canvas until it's filled in. Once you have that done, we're going to select the cursor, make sure snapping and magnetics are both turned on. And then we're going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see the blue corner dots. And we're going to grab the bottom right hand dot and drag it so it snaps into place in the top left hand square. You should see those yellow snap lines in place so you know it's exactly in the correct position. Next, click on your layers tab and then swipe left on the layer and click duplicate. So all we've done now is create an exact copy of the first layer. Select your next color, which in my case is orange. We're going to do the same thing we did before, just drag and drop, but this time onto the square. So now you can see we have one layer with yellow and one layer with orange, and we're going to move the orange one now. Let's tap on the cursor. We're going to drag it down to the bottom right hand corner until it snaps into position. So you'll have yellow top left and orange bottom right or whatever colors you've decided to go with. Tap on your layers again, swipe left and duplicate the orange layer. Select your next color, which in my case is the lighter pink and drag and drop it onto the orange square. Tap on the cursor and we're going to slide it upwards to the top right hand corner. And again, you should see it snap into position. Next, duplicate it one last time. Select your last color, which in my case is the dark pink and drag and drop and then use the cursor to slide it down to the bottom left hand square. So this is what your canvas should be looking like at the moment and just tap on the cursor to deselect. Once you're happy with your four colors, what we're going to do is merge all of the layers together. So all of the blocks are on one layer. So to do this, tap on the layers and just pinch them all together so that they're all on one layer. So have another look. So just hover your finger above the top and bottom layer and then just pinch them all together and they'll all go onto the same layer. Next thing we're going to do is tap on the cursor and minimize it so that it all fits into the top left square. Make sure uniform is selected for this. So grab the bottom right hand blue dot and drag it up so it all snaps into place in the top left grid square. Next, select your layers, swipe left and duplicate, select the cursor and drag it over to the right so the top half of the canvas now has eight squares. Merge these two layers together like you did a second ago. Swipe left, duplicate, and we're going to select the cursor and drag it down. So now that we have 16 squares on the canvas. And we're basically going to keep repeating this process a couple more times until the pattern is a small enough scale to create our effect. So we're going to minimize it, tap on the layers, duplicate, select the cursor, drag it to the right, and then we're going to merge the layers again, duplicate, tap on the cursor and drag it down. If you make a mistake like I did here, or you've just gone off a little bit, just tap on the reset and you can just drag it down again and snap it into place. So then for the last time, select the cursor, minimize it, tap on your layers, duplicate, cursor, swipe to the right, and then merge them again. Duplicate one last time, select your cursor and drag it down to the bottom. And then don't forget to click on your layers tab one last time and just merge those last two layers together. Now tap on the plus to create a new layer. Go into your colors and slide all the way to the bottom to select black. Then tap on your brushes, which is your brush library. Find the calligraphy section and the monoline brush. 
Tap on the canvas to exit the brush settings and bring the brush size all the way to max with the slider on the left hand side. And next, this part is really just up to you. I'm just drawing some wavy lines around the canvas from top left to bottom right. And as you can see, when we tap on the layers, the black is on one layer and the pattern is on the other layer. So we can change the pattern without affecting the black line. So the next thing we're going to do is use the liquify feature in the adjustments panel. But before we do that, don't forget to select your bottom layer. So go up and select the wand and liquify. We're going to use the pinch setting. So make sure your size is around 39 or 40 percent. The pressure is at max, the distortion is at zero and the, the momentum is also at max. And now we're just going to work our way slowly along this black line and it's going to pinch the squares in as it goes. The brush cursor is also actually very handy to have on here. So go into your actions, preferences and toggle on your brush cursor and you can just see exactly what you're pinching then. So once you're back in your pinch settings, just draw very slowly along the black line and you'll see the squares pinching in to meet each other. You'll have to take it a little bit slow. And if you don't like the size, you can increase it or decrease it as you want, but you can't rush this bit or they won't pinch enough. So again, just follow the line very slowly all the way until you get to the end. Next thing we're gonna do is create another new layer. So tap on your layers and tap on the plus. And now tap on your colors and double tap anywhere near the white section to select the color white. This time what we're going to do is draw a line either side of your black line, but just make the brush size ever so slightly smaller. So again, it doesn't need to be exact. So just follow it around. But if you make a mistake like I did here, tap with two fingers to undo and you can just start again. So just drawing, just leaving a small gap in between the black and white lines. And we're going to do this again on the other side too so that we can create a highlight effect either side of our shadow. So just drawing very slowly, doesn't need to be exact, and the white line can even overlap itself a little bit if it needs to. From here, we're gonna go back up into our layers, tap on the little N on the white layer, and just reduce the opacity to around 90%, just so it's not quite as bright. And then we're gonna merge the black and white lines by pinching the layers together. Now comes the best bit, which is to actually create the effect, so go into your adjustments and your Gaussian blur and slide from left to right until the lines are blurred together and you'll see your effect coming to life. So you can decide how much or how little you want your lines blurred together. So you can just use the slider on the top to see what percentage of Gaussian blur you're using and just slide it along to blur it more or slide it to the left to blur it a little bit less. So you can see as well, once I go up to the layers panel and toggle off that shadow layer, you can see exactly what the grid looks like underneath and how much the shadow affects it. Another thing you can do to add to the effect again is go back into your liquify settings and click on expand. And you can just tap and hold at all those little inlets to expand the squares slightly. And it just gives it a little bit more of a 3D look. Again, this step is totally optional. I didn't do it in the TikTok video or Instagram video that I made, but I do think it just looks a little bit better and a little bit more polished overall when you zoom in and have a look at the finished product. And once you're finished, you can also go back into your canvas settings and just toggle off that drawing guide because you don't need it anymore. So if you finish your effect, but you want to add in more, you can absolutely go back in and do that. Just tap on your layers and create a new layer on top of your shadowed layer. Select black and then just draw your next wavy line wherever you want. Then go back into your layers, tap on your bottom layer and go back into your liquify settings and then make sure pinch is selected. And then you're just going to pinch again along that black line. And again, make sure you don't forget to actually select that bottom layer. Then go back up to your layers, tap on your top layer, select a new layer and then select your white color to draw our bordering lines and reduce the opacity slightly again to about 90%. So just leaving a small gap either side of that black line, draw your white lines either side, and then we're going to merge the two layers together, go back into our settings, Gaussian blur, and slide from left to right to blur them together. And that's how you make the inward 3D effect. And the next thing we're going to look at is how to make the 3D effect that looks like it's coming out of the canvas. So I've just gone back to where we had our colored grid and we're going to create a new layer and this time start off with white. And we're going to draw our wavy line starting somewhere on the top and finishing somewhere on the bottom of the canvas. Now make sure you go back into your layers and reselect your bottom layer, 
We're going to go into our liquify settings and this time tap on expand. Your settings for the expand are going to be the exact same as they were for the pinch. And now this time you're just moving along the white line, but instead of the squares pinching together, they're expanding outwards. So again, just take it quite slowly and work your way all along that white line. And even if it comes off the canvas, you can go off the canvas too and come back on again. So just keep on going till you get to the very end and then tap in your layers and create a new layer. This time select black and we're going to border the white line in black this time. So leave a small gap and just draw all the way around following your white line and leaving a small gap between the black and the white lines. And again, you can go off the canvas and come back on again and then do the exact same on the other side. Just follow it all the way around into the indents. And again, it can overlap itself slightly if it needs to and all the way till you finish off the canvas. And this time select the N for the black layer and you can reduce the opacity for that layer down to somewhere around the 70% mark. Next, merge the black and white layers together. And the same thing as we did the last time, select your Gaussian blur and slide from left to right to blur it. And you'll see your 3D effect coming to life. And it really is as simple as that. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, just drop me a comment and I'll do my best to make a tutorial about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.